order the August 21st, 2024 Poly and Management Council meeting. Uh, we'll rise and pay respects to the flag. And after that, we'll have a Pledge of Allegiance and in, uh, indication. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all together in three townships and communities. And Lord Jesus, guide us with your words and thoughts. In Lord's name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Okay, this time, take it to the town. Please call the roll. For the town is at the Power Council members, Mr. Brakefield. Here. Sorry, Mr. Pearson. Okay. Here. Mr. Pfeiffer. Gentlemen, I apologize. Here. 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 Mr. Watley. Here. Sorry. Mr. Wright. Here. Mr. Nolan. Here. McDonald's. Yes. Here. Kim. Okay. Meet up Okay. Okay. At this time, we will move on to the approval of our agenda. Any changes to the agenda? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the agenda as presented. I'll second. Motion by Vice Chair Brakefield, second by Councilor Nolan to approve the agenda as presented. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, that motion carries on the consent agenda. Anything on the consent agenda for the June 19, 2024 meeting minutes? The bill to be approved for June and July, financial reports for June and July, and the government <coughs> report for July and August. Any questions, comments on the consent agenda? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve those by roll call. I'll make the motion we approve the uh, consent agenda. Support. Okay, motion by Vice Chair Brayfield, second by uh, Councillor Pfeiffer to approve the consent agenda. I'll do a roll call. Um, Mr. Pearson? Yes. Mr. Pfeiffer? Yes. Mr. Wiley? Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes. Mr. Noel? Yes. McDonald? Yes. Lador? Yes. Mr. Okay, the motion carries. Okay. Ms. Brakefield? I apologize. Okay. I apologize. That's all right. Nope. Okay. So that, that's unanimously. Uh, on to public comments. Would you like to comment, sir? If not, I'll move on. No okay. comment. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, on the citizen rep report, Kevin, any report for us? I have no report. No report this month. Okay. Next up on our agenda is an open session to entertain the motion to go into a closed session. And as a tenant client privilege letter that uh, I've invited attorney Helen May to come in and give us an overview on, on the situation within the letter. Um, there is a motion in your packet to read to get us into closed session if you so choose. Uh, I'll entertain that motion if you'd like to or read your own. Chair, I make a motion to enter in the closed session report on MCL 15.268 item 1H. Return plan of each communication. Okay. And also um, put in there the attendance to include members of the council and members that can attend the closed session. Yeah, to include all council members as well as other members who can attend. No include from National Randy and Citizen Rep Cream as well. And Attorney Holland May. Second. Okay, a motion by Councillor Mador, second by Councillor Wiley to enter into a closed session meeting to include those that are in the motion. Include the comments. If not, we'll, we'll call this to go into closed session. Mr. Pfeiffer? Yes. Mr. Wiley? Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes. Mr. Noel? Yes. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Medora? Yes. Mr. Brakefield? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. Okay. Motion motion is carried. Uh, camera will be off. We'll uh, excuse all public except for those that were in the motion to attend the closed session. We are going to proceed on to unfinished business item 9A, Jowson Road County Removal slash Relocation Status. So um, we've had an ongoing issue with the, with the fence that we feel needs to be relocated because we feel we have a ownership on the property. So any further discussion from council? If not, I'll look for a motion. 
Second term foul. I'd like to offer a motion to authorize litigation regarding 539 Joslin Road as discussed in closed session. I'll second. Okay, motion by Secretary McDonald, second by Vice Chair Brightfield to authorize litigation on the property at 539 Joslin Road. Any further questions or comments? If not, we will do a roll call, please, Secretary McDonald. Okay, for the motion, um, Mr. Wright? Yes. Mr. Noel? Yes. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Medor? Yes. Mr. Brakefield? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Definitely yes. Mr. Pfeiffer? Yes. Mr. Watley? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. okay. All right. Lisa, thank you. We appreciate you coming out. Thanks, Lisa. Okay, we'll move on to item. 10A under new business event request for Orange Parks and Recreation. Uh, they are requesting to use part of the Holly Inn Trail for an event called the Dragon Trails Triathlon, scheduled for September 22nd, 2024. Any questions on the request? If not, we'll have a motion to approve this request so they can get their event scheduled. I make a motion to approve the event as uh, stated. Second. Okay, I'll go with uh, motion by like have, uh, Councillor Pfeiffer, second by oh. Councillor Noel to approve the event request for Oregon Parks and Recreation to utilize portion of the following trail for the Dragon Trails Triathlon for September 22nd, 2024. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. On to picnic table placement on the Hauser Road. Trail Manager Moran would like to place a picnic table at Hausner Road and she'll leave that appointment to the picnic table policy in place. Any further questions on that? Secretary McDonald. I just want to recognize that uh, this donation was uh, thanks to Linda and her family over the passing of her father recently. So Linda, it's much appreciated. Thanks. And I'll make a motion to authorize. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Secretary McDonald, second by Treasurer Pearson for the prize. Trial following trial manager Linda Moran to place a picnic table at House Road for the requirements of the following trial management council picnic table policy. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 As opposed, that motion carries. On to the 2025 proposed budget. Uh, this is distributed out uh, council members. You'll see the revenues and expenditures. Balance of $137,990. Any questions on the budget? Yeah. Okay, hearing none, uh, motion to approve the budget as presented. Support. Okay. Like motion? You sound like it. You sound like it. <laughs> it did sound like it. Okay, all right. All right. Motion by Chairperson Wright, second by Councilor Medoro to approve the 2025 Tally and Trolley Management Council budget with revenues and expenditures balancing at $137,990. Any further questions or comments on the budget? If not, we'll do a roll call, Secretary McDonald. For the 2025 budget for the Tally and Trail Management Council, Mr. Noel? Yes. Mr. McDonald, yes. Mr. McGlure, yes. Mr. Brakefield, yes. Mr. Pearson, yes. Mr. Pfeiffer, yes. Mr. Hoppe, <coughs> yes. Mr. Wright, yes. Motion carries unanimous. All right, on to item 10D, funding uh, for upgrades between Lake George Road to Forest Street and Rochester Road. This is a request from Trail Manager Rand to get some additional funding for resurfacing the area of that area of Lake George to Forest Street and Rochester Road. And the situation is that there's a possibility of giving them the of the monies for that. So in order not to hold the project up, we're not expected to find out until in the September yes. whether or not those monies are, are going to be allocated back to the Pollyon Trail. If not, what we're looking for, Joe Manager Moran and I, is to get council approval of funding to move forward whether or not we receive the monies. If we receive the monies, we won't need the monies on request for $50,000 uh, unless it's an overwhelming monies received from the state. So with that, either way, 
the motion in the packet is going to authorize Travis Rand to continue. But what we want to do is wait until the decision from the state. Because if we get if we get those monies, we don't want to spend our own first and then lose the funding that the state is going to provide us. Councilman Medor. What time frame are you trying to get this work done before this winter? Is that I don't think so. Okay. Um, well, what we're looking at is Trail Manager Moran would like to prep the area. She indicates she needed like about four thousand dollars to do so. So if the money's come and they and the qualifications are what she wants to accomplish it within the grant award, then she proceed with that. If it isn't and the and the award isn't presented, then you're authorizing her to proceed with the drill funds. Yeah, that's how that that's how that will work, that's how that's structured. So is there any further any questions? It's, so the, the work you do in preparation of that wouldn't be eligible or grant or uh, refundable then, right? I don't know. Okay. Depends on the, I mean, the uh, details of the grant. Let me go if you want to. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Um, I have requested 50000 additional dollars from the Michigan Department of Natural Resources to continue with the maintenance that we've been doing this summer. Um, they should know in September that we will be getting those funds. Once it's signed off, we have access to this money. We can start spending that money. I don't know if it's going to be September if we get it, October, you know how the DNR. We can do this prep work up until November, up until the ground is frozen. So if we get the money, we'll know. We can do some prep work this winter and go into the winter in good shape, start fresh in the spring. If we don't get the money, I kind of want to get the prep work done this year either way just because it is in a state of disrepair. So I just kind of want to move forward. But we have the equipment and we have the people. We got to keep moving, got to keep moving. Secretary McDonald, $50,000 out of our trail pocket is a significant amount of money. And our budget is not fat at the moment. And I guess I'm trusting that uh, the trail manager and our chairman, uh, I know they took that into consideration. Yep. So uh, the question I, I guess I'm wondering about is we're also talking about doing the asphalt repairs, which is another significant amount of money. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's in this budget. Is there enough in it? With all of our expenses, I don't. Well, right now, right now you're beginning the year with two hundred forty thousand dollars of fund balance, twenty twenty four. So the plan is then to transfer fund balance additional, mm -hmm. additionally. Yep. Yep. So this new budget in the new budget year or this budget year? Uh, That's this, the only question I really have. Yeah, you know, the only the only fund balance you're going to transfer in twenty twenty five, if you look, to balance that budget out, we go back uh, thirty two thirty three thousand dollars. Is opening fund balance, and that was accounting for the fifty thousand dollars, basically in this motion coming out in twenty twenty five. Now of that two hundred forty thousand dollars, one hundred eighteen thousand roughly is is assigned by the four county community grant, Wade Sullivan donations, and the ARPA funding from units in the Marshfield Township. So when you take that out of out of uh, context, you're left with uh, one hundred twenty two thousand dollars of fund balance. And then now that we've got the communities on board, we got $100,000 being contributed by all our municipalities, which essentially carries your 2025 budget to be paid for. So basically you've got monies in the bank to do these repairs. And by doing them, you make this trade out more pleasing and aesthetic and user friendly than what, what you have if you just keep waiting and waiting. So, and that, that's council's pleasure. That's just my thinking is that just like when we went out for these engineering design grants, we could have went for that, but you wouldn't have the work done that you have now that Linda and some other people that's volunteered, Dave Vandenberg, Bob Brooks, and other people that have volunteered the time, and maybe there's others on council, Mike, you might have done it as well. Yeah. So so my, my, my thinking now is that let's just plow forward, do what we can do, be aggressive, get things done, and be proud of the trail that we're creating. We're at, and, so that, that's the reason why, why I'm bringing these things forward. So, Councilor Wiley. I mean, we talked about this a, a few months ago, uh, the reserves and fund balance that we're building up. The intention is to do real on the ground work rather than just getting a piece of paper that says, oh yeah, this is gonna cost us $3 million to do. So in my opinion, 
that is the purpose of our fund balance to keep renovating the trail and if we can do it at a lower cost than our competitors and there's a you know i mean for every individual around here you, you have to be comfortable on how you would spend this money and what your comfort level is with, with the fund balance too so that's where we have council to say okay this is a good or not a good idea so uh treasurer pearson uh, I just want to make, you're not asking Mike and I to do any of this. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I already got Mike on the Actually, we're looking for Mike's uh, here. I'm looking for You'll Jerry McConnell. We don't know a whole lot about asphalt, but we <laughs> do. <laughs> yeah. Major Moran. I just want to ask um, Mr. Watley and Mr. Pfeiffer. I know Matt's been on the channel. What do you think of 1335 Jotlins or Walden? What do you think? So nice, yeah, it's like top I've been on a few times since it's done. I've been done already, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a real nice improvement. It looks great, it feels great. Dry, and Scripps has never been. No no yeah. holes or any of that. Uh, it's all packed and nice. It's good. Oh, yeah, nice. nice work. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And on a side note, uh, I've seen some emails that have been received by men, and they're from people that don't even live in our communities that are saying, what a great job that you have here. I mean, this, it's just a tremendous reinforcement of what Linden and the crew has been getting done out there. And I, I just believe that these monies were going to be well spent, and then we're just in a, in a maintenance mode and we continue that support going forward. So that's, that's your breakthrough. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's your breakthrough, Linda. Bruce might have slipped and made an accident uh, by saying asphalt. will not be asphalt, will it? Oh, no. It's going to be gravel. The asphalt repair is the one in Oxford where the, okay. it's starting to heave and split open. And the, the surface will be conducive for horses. Oh, you betcha. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. Kathy okay. is going to love it. Okay. <laughs> Kathy will love it. And I agree with Aaron. That's what the funds are set up for, is the improvements instead of just, well, I'm saying it one day in our life. I say, let's get her done. Secretary Dunn. One final thought, and that is, is that I didn't ask that question in trying to raise um, objections. I think Curtis, that Curtis has done a great job on the budget. We didn't recognize that. He's put together a really good budget. Now we understand how it's intended to be used, and that's what we all need to you know, be on the same page about. And so I brought that forward um, Tongue in cheek, but thanks so much, Curtis and Linda, on this for your leadership. Well, it's not that I like to I like to the elders around me to say this is good or not good, and, and if it doesn't, you need to speak up and say this is the reasons why. So that's that's just on the surface. I mean, if um, well, we'll get to the next issue in that. But um, if, if that's the case, if, if the council's all right with this, I put a motion in the packet that will. Address all these items if somebody wants to make that motion. If not, I'll make the motion myself. So I see the Secretary of uh, Council Fiber saying we'll do it. I move that any future funding award from the MDNR be used for upgrading the Pollyann Trail from Lake George Road to Forest Street slash Rochester Road. The funding is or is not awarded from the MDNR. Up to $50,000 of Pollyann Trail Management Council fund balance. Is approved for the upgrades between Lake George Road to Forest Street slash Rochester Road. Second. Okay, a motion by Chairperson Wright, second by Councilman Miller. We decided to proceed on with the funding for the improvements to Lake George to Forest Street slash Rochester Road. Any further questions or concerns on this? Okay, hearing none, Secretary McDonald, will you please call the roll? Yes, for the Funding of upgrades between Lake George Road and Forest Street or Rochester Road on the Pollyann Trail in the amount of $50,000. Um, Mr. Medor? Yes. Mr. Brakefield? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. Mr. Piper? Yes. Mr. Watley? Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes. Mr. Noel? Yes. Mike McDonald? Yes. Good. Most of us carry. Okay, on to the last item on the agenda, and that's another request for funding. That's for asphalt repairs from Drain Road to Pleasant Street, which Linda's probably what a mile and a half. Yeah. Mile and a half. So, 
this one might be a little more difficult for you, but, but it's the idea that if you travel that portion of the Polygon Trail, um, you've got a lot of heaving in some of the areas there causing trip hazards or, or whatever. And then you've got a lot of cracking that's taking place. The asphalt was, what, 1998? It was probably 25 years old in areas like that. We got some patching done behind Frosty Boy, that type of thing. Um, but if you go out and then you pack it, there are two quotes that were provided. Uh, put a procurement policy, the council has a right to waive bids on that. So if, if you're uh, wanting to go redo the process and have this physically bid out, if you're in favor of doing it, you can do that. Otherwise, she put two uh, quotes in. Did you ask anybody else, Linda? I asked uh, two other companies who I cannot remember their name. They never respond. Okay. Yeah. All right. But uh, if you look at the quotes in the, in the packet, one's from DSI and one's from uh, Hutch Paving. And you'll, you'll look at these and you'll say, well, DSI is uh, $7,000 less. Why is that? Well, in the breakdown, they, they don't give you what Hutch Paving is proposing to give us as far as the services for the crack filling in, in some of the areas for the asphalt overlays on that. But um, that, that again is a, a hit against the budget. Because um, when, when you look at it, if these two items are approved, it's about $75,000 coming out of the budget, up to, with the, up to that amount. So, so that, that you have to be able to come to them and say, yes, this is okay to move forward or not. Um, so I'll open the floor up to anybody that wants to comment. Uh, Council in the door. Um, I just want to say that Hutch Paving is the one that we worked with that did the uh, parking lot at our host offices. Um, they were great to work with um, and uh, I think the product's future as well. So it's really well. And they're also doing Park Street more yeah. maintenance and paving project for us now as well. Yeah. Vice Chair, right through I noticed in the BSI paving, they left a, a lot of items open in the air. It could be as much as they wanted. It says additional charges will apply. If they say that over and over and over and over again, uh, additional charges will apply. So they, in the long run, they could end up paying more money than much. So just uh, looking at right. the rules. Right. And, uh, that's something too. If you, if you don't like these quotes, you want more, you want, you know, I guess, the town manager to go and get a uh, more solid quote from BSI, you can, you can bring this back to council. But um, I, I, I have no idea whether there's a better place out there or not. but. I think the testimony from Council <coughs> Four is worth something, and also you could go see the product that they did at the village parking lot. I didn't see, I didn't see any uh, bird baths or anything. It looked like no, the drain is great. When we had a couple of downpours, like a July 10th, when we or someone would have one run out and just watch it, it just blow right down. It was going on, and you got the engine, all the engineering. We got yeah, it's strong underwater. A lot of replacing new uh, underwater or underground retention. Uh, all of it seems to work in this area. Yeah, and they did, they did that basically right on schedule, I would imagine. Yeah. There's no problem even with the water. Yeah. You know, they get the, we added about a week later, we added a few other things, a few other things that popped up. So we added a week to find it. Yeah. Councilor Roll. Question for Linda. In the past, one of these companies, we've had a good working relationship on the trail. Uh, BSI has worked for us in the past. They did do a section of the trail behind Frosty Boy, they did great. It was a very small section, and I think it was right at $10,000, like ten dollars or $11,000. Um, Ryan did send me a text that for, to do the same work that Hector's gonna do, that it would be almost $17,000 for the 3,400 square feet. So their bid actually comes in much higher than Hutch. Well, they ended at 26. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're happy with the quality of the two quotes that we could make a good decision today? Yes. I, I Hutch is good. They're going to be in the area that's going to be hemmed in with a discount price. If we go with them, they can squeeze us in while they're doing all the jobs on Park Street and in the village. Um, so they <coughs> basically will just kind of slip us in there. It's a one or two day job. Council Wadley, I also would say I kind of went back on some of our past work we've done very fair price. I don't remember a lot of the reviews. And you said a lot of concern the, the approvals given that they would start mid September? Yeah, I mean, if I call them tonight, they'll, they'll get us on schedule. I think September 10th they have an open. 
sign in. They can they can slip and sign in with you. And that will close the trail while we manage the couple days. They will close the trail. They will monitor the trail. We don't. I'm. I'll be wandering around looking at stuff, but you know, we don't do anything. They close it off. It'll be a, a day or two. So it's all. All right. So are we looking for a motion? Yes. Uh, oh, Councilor Hyman. Uh, just, I, I think we're all kind of going in the same direction, it sounds like, but um, the unknown is something that I'm not real comfortable with. And uh, um, so I am, I, 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 I like us having a real confident uh, uh, direction. And I did go check out these parking lot, and it really, uh, it looks like they did a really good job. That thing was a mess, and uh, it's uh, it's solid. It's not, it's not hard to like, hard to drive into anymore. It's a nice way. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Just wanted to share it. I think we need to know our numbers, and the unknown is uh, is too dangerous uh, for them. And, and BSI does do good work. And I, do, I do like those guys. They Agreed. Were, I've used them over they're the years. Very, they're very sweet people, very community. Treasurer Pearson. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to move to approve the quote from Hutch Payne in the amount of $33,925 for asphalt repairs from. Drainer Road, Pleasant Street, Hutch Paving shall provide a certificate of insurance, including filing the Railroad Management Council and the MD and R as additional insured. Further, Valley and Trail Manager Linda Moran shall oversee the project on behalf of the Valley and Trailway Management Council. Second. Motion by Treasurer Pearson, second by Councilor Wiley to approve the quote from Hutch Paving for the repairs from Drainer Road to Pleasant Street. Any further questions or comments? During none, roll call on this. Secretary McDonald, please. Okay, roll call for the uh, asphalt repairs. Uh, break, Mr. Brakefield? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. Mr. Pfeiffer? Yes. Mr. Watley? Yes. Mr. Kirk, Mr. Wright? Yes. Mr. Knowles? Yes. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Medora? Yes. Thank you. Okay, very, very good council I think this is a great, great job. Support for what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, we'll move on to council comments. So uh, we'll start with Councilor Watley. Um, Matt so kind of already said, great job on the trail back there. Uh, wonderful improvement. And I'm super excited to see all that stuff on the agenda. It's, um, we'll get the stuff done. So, uh, it's, I kept quoting. I kept quoting? Yeah, I kept quoting about 50 times. Yes. Okay, you want to get things done. Get it done. Council Pfeiffer, anything? Um, yeah, I'd already been on it. I'm real happy with the, the work that uh, you guys did out there. Excited that we, I think we made some really good progress today. Frustrated about, uh, you know, the uh, the lawsuit, but uh, it is the right decision and it's, uh, I'm, I'm 100% behind uh, that direction and appreciate the history. A lot of you guys are a lot older than me and have been around Karen. Again, nobody you listens to my jokes. It must be looking down there. It really is helpful to have your uh, your experience and history with the trail, um, and I appreciate that you work that in and share that because it does make it easier for somebody as young as me that hasn't been around as long to uh, to be able to absorb. So, and Linda, um, I, I I think this a lot. We are very lucky to have you. I, I see you out on the trail uh, sometimes twice in one day. Working hard with uh, with your help, and um, and uh, I really appreciate uh, all that you do and uh, your love of the trail uh, it shines through. So thank you for your service. Thanks, man. Councilor Noel. I just appreciate the comments we made in closed session. I'm glad that you older folks can remember those things. Treasurer Pearson. Just reading the Bible. Uh, I would like to say uh, I'm glad that we are uh, taking on these uh, lawsuits because if we don't, we're going to have more and more of them. And I think everybody now realizes that the trail is a gem and we certainly do want to protect it. And if we do lose in court, that so be it. But at least we went to the wall and tried to protect the uh, so I think we need to protect it every time it's up against something. So, and and I, my family, I mean, and you know we have 
probably one of the largest sections besides Ed. So, yeah. That's, yeah. Ed and I, we had the largest section where the trail went through and we had the most to lose. But yeah, you know, uh, our the grandparents and stuff wanted that property back. And here, uh, now that you look forward, we're very happy. That trail is used all the time and it's actually an asset. And when you look on any real estate uh, uh, advertisement, when you go to sell your property close to the Pollyann Trail or Pollyann Trail goes through the property or whatever, so that actually turned out to be an asset and not anything that you should be against. So anyways, that's all I have to say. Okay, thank you. Secretary McDonald. I am, I heard music to my ears today when Aaron finally got what he's, his agenda has been for getting the trail worked on and actually boots on the ground kind of work. And I really gotta say that it isn't just your, your work, Aaron, but it's Curtis's with the budget and the, you know, the coordination that it takes. It's a, it's really a moving meeting for that reason. So, and it's been a pleasure working with all of you. Um, on it, for sure. For Councilor? More time? No. Vice Chair? Break show. Oh, that's the Councilor. <laughs> I, I, it's been a great meeting. There's a few things I want to bring up. If time, if the constraints are okay, possibly like to see NES on the next meeting, find out what's any updates. Okay, so if it's possible, that's why I said time constraints. There might not be ready for it to be on the agenda. NES, the point is another fence issue. Another fence issue. That's why item number nine was a typo area because it would have been perfect with NES instead, but time constraints. Uh, as far as Lisa is concerned, Without going through the full title, Rosati, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is a fantastic law firm. Uh, they've worked with Addison Township many times, and we always seem to be coming out on the top with that company. They're very, very vicious. As far as the $50,000 goes to do the, from Lake George to Village of Leonard, between Bruce Pearson and Ed Brakefield, we probably ate up forty thousand dollars worth of our property because it our starts almost to Lake George and his almost ends almost to the village of Leonard. So between both of us it's a lot of our property. I wanted to thank you very much. And are you planning on parking that monster tractor at our house? For at least two months. <laughs> so so we should <laughs> Yes, and I, I wasn't aware that that was a bit off of that section of the trail, like the cuts to the village there. No, but it's just, it's funny timing because I just approved a bid to redo the crossing markings at where it crosses on West Murray there. We have two crosswalks that we put in, one at Pontiac down by OBS, and then one at Pleasant Street. We put one in on, on West Murray where they come down, well, Pleasant Street to get to the trail, that part of the trail connection. And so we're having those two new crosswalks finally uh, painted street lines painted, and while we're at it, we have a price for the Pollyann Trail crossing, and we're having that go over as well. And uh, the village is dying. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, I was asked. Well, ask the Pollyann Trust. They we're yeah, just going to do it. They're too cheap. You save your money. We'll do it. Thanks. Uh, is, there, is there a time in the middle? Uh, probably in the next thirty days. It's PK contracting is doing it. Uh, we just I sent over the approval to Donna Bradley last week for him to get in touch with them to roll it into their schedule. So. We asked for a 24 hour heads up so we can let the police and fire know. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of traffic. I know all parts of the house on the trail. I think it was like 1,400 by bid for all three of them. So I thought think. for a minute you were going to ask Mike and I to do it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> do that night, it's a lot less traffic. Susan <laughs> 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 so, so Rupp, Green. I'm good. I'm good. good. Trail Manager Moran. Yay. Yeah. All right. I want to introduce John, our new kidnap victim. I mean, volunteer. <laughs> Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, he was riding down the trail on his bike and I tripped him and put him on a John Deere tractor and he's been mowing for me. Yeah. So, and woke up on the tractor running. Yep, there you go. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're working on the trail. Yeah. I've been using it for four years, all the trails around, and now I'm ready to get back. 
Right. Where do you live at? I live down in Pontiac, so okay. mainly for me it's Clinton River Trail, but I, I use them all. All right, well, terrific. Yeah. He's, got a, he's got a fascinating new skill set that we will be utilizing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're right, you're under the right person if you want to work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, or don't want to work. Hey, 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 hey. Don't scare him off. He's new. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know ITC will be doing backpack spraying under their easement. Um, I did talk to Tyson and I did talk to Mike. Uh, they are going to be, they were, wanted to do broad form spraying and I said no because I'm working on Silka Soft to get, you know, some of the good stuff out there. So they are going to be doing spot spraying up there over the next four days. Um, so you may see them near or on the trail adjacent. Um, they're going to be walking, but just to let you know, ITC is out there. Um, also, uh, as to NES, Sage and um, Mr. Lincoln, Matt Lincoln, will be out on September 12th to do a trail review. They want to take a look at the work we've been doing and that they'll be paying us for, but also they're going to be looking at a couple of trespass issues. Um, I did tell them about 539 Jocelyn, so they are aware of it, but it's not their property, so it's kind of one of those keep us posted, you know, kind of deals. Um, but the NES is on the we're going to actually be meeting there and walking through there, taking a look at it. And they're also concerned about the property behind the NES as well. So uh, that's about, uh, oh, and also motorbikes on the trail. The village is out of control uh, with motorbikes. <laughs> they're not, they're villages anyway. Um, I was almost taken off my bike Monday, or Sunday night, day in the morning, yeah. and I was almost taken off on the safety pad. Um, the DI on the back side of their plates that they're getting specifically about motor bikes on the trail. And uh, I've made complaints to the, the sheriffs. That's all we can do. We've got signs and we, everybody's on the trail. Let's get together and be like it was Blake Shopping Town to make sure he's fully aware, fully. If he's selling them and talking to people about them, to be sure he's letting them sell. Well, these are actual gas motor bikes with children. Gas, not the electric. No, these are gas bikes. Okay. Um, Mike, Chief Mike, got one of the kids, and it's the same one that almost got me on Sunday. Um, we, I have some photographs. I know where these kids live. They live over in Orange Township, Lake City. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I mean, it's not, it's not just, it's, it's everywhere. I mean, Amazon trucks and Amazon are terrible. I mean, I probably have complaints at least three times a month with the Amazon trucks out there on the trail, making a deal with GPS. Yeah, yeah. well, no, they're, they're going, <laughs> like George, they're going all the way down to like Boardman, or not Boardman, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Rolling. You know, because the trail's in much better shape than the roads. <laughs> and it's much faster than the road. I mean, at, at No, we're not about zero. Yeah, we're not about zero. We're not about zero. We're not so anyway, that's it. So John's going to be out there a lot more. It's going to be, he's going to be mowing our, mowing the trail. Andrew, my, my friend mower, he's found love. He moved to Texas or something. I don't know. So he'll be around, but not as much. So John's going to be picking up the slack. Yay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. You get some uh, vegetables for your work. And right here, uh, you can get those out. <laughs> He's got a better garden than I do, so. Uh, uh, it's, it's still. Yeah. Well, it's it's good to have a group, but it's better to have a team. It's good to see this as a full council working together, making strides, and when we're not taking score on who's getting what for the advantage, it's for, it's for the whole trail. And it's good to see that we're working for that kind of good for the communities that are involved here. So, yeah, everybody running against you, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Still time for writing. Oh, I thought he was oh, yeah. yeah, you could go congratulate all those people that won. I am campaigning, but it's not, it's not for myself. Yeah. And that's where, um, uh, you know, like, like for this budget, I look, I look to the, the other seven people in this town will say yes or no. And that's what, that's what it's about. I'll present the information, get in my box, but at the end of the day, this case five votes wins the decision on, on this council. Uh, just, a, just another thing is that uh, 
we have some grant monies and we're gonna look at potentially using them for designs on these approaches that we don't wanna lose the money. We just wanna use it and even if these sell on the shelf um, because our fund balance will dwindle, but we'll continue to look at it as tight as we can and then this will look to the council as well to say, this, this is okay to keep going or we need to stop. Until then, we'll keep moving, moving on. Um, other than that, Linda, you always like the last word. I do, can I go in there and the one. Um, I also will be looking for a bucket truck in Addison and a dump truck in Addison. So if anybody, Bruce Pearson, has any of those said items, I appreciate it. Or in connection. My hearing aids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion we adjourn. Support. And motion by. Mr. Chair Brakefield, second by Councilor Fife, to adjourn the meeting at 4.16 p.m. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No motion carried. Thank you, Council.